County Sheriff Greg Countryman with federal and local law enforcement partners say Columbus is now safer today. Excuse me because I'm on the shitter, but this is the face of a man who has no worries. This is the face of a man who has trapped five billion bags. It started as a Muskogee County Sheriff's Office investigation two years ago. The target was criminal street gangs right here in the Fountain City, primarily the Zalmanans and the Crips. The operation started early Thursday morning. Multiple federal, local, and state agencies on the ground were here in Columbus. The FBI brought in about 250 agents and analysts. Included in that number were seven SWAT teams to assist the apprehension of suspects considered armed and dangerous. Among the items seized Thursday included... Okay, I wanted to actually do some of this video. It's just bright ass light in my face. I wanted to do it in the studio, but you know, I had this on my mind. It's like, when we get to a point where we're extremely successful, like we defy the odds, you know, in our youth and we reach and then to our later adult years and we're like, okay, we have so many different options as far as like what success can mean to us. And I feel like there's some people like when we think about some of the biggest, even like drug lords, kingpins or whatever, right? It's like a hundred million dollars wasn't enough. Which to a person like, you know, say me, I've never had a hundred million dollars at one time. So I'm like, okay, this would be mind altering, spiritual, like awakening. Like life wouldn't even seem real to me. So like, I would like to think that um, if I was doing something that can stop me from having that outcome, I would probably stop. So we have like this um, thing to where I feel like it's almost like a sickness to where like we get so successful, we're not looking at the obvious shit to like kind of stop us from our own detriment. It's like um, life gives us so many opportunities to kind of like surround ourselves with people, places, things that are going to lead us into maybe like have more longevity into whatever we wish to do, you know? So um, when I hear about people like uh, Pee Wee Longway, where it's like, you could just open up a YouTube video about how you used to do X, Y, and Z and half of the South would be listening. I know the mid I know I would be listening. I'm a fan. Like, I would like to hear your your stories, like almost like Dope is Yola, I think that's his name. Shout out to your YouTube page. But um, it's like him, it's like he might just tell you about a time where, but um, you know, there might be times where he's telling those stories where he's thinking about like, man, I could have made this play or that play and had this type of money and that type of money. Or you could just look at where you're at now and be like, actually that's okay. Because it's it makes sense to where my life is now. You know, maybe it doesn't call for a hundred thousand dollars a minute. Maybe you know, fifty thousand an hour. Like, man, what if that's the difference? You know what I mean? But I feel like for some people, it's it's not even about the money after a while. And uh, I think that's where it, where it's kind of messed up. At a lot of the people with that mindset end up in the same places. You know, so so it, it it it's almost like a it should it should be a wake up call to to get out of your daily habit because it's so easy to be in your daily habits and a lot of our daily habits once you get to a certain point like they overwork like it works way too well it seems way too easy. And then you end up in a situation where you can't necessarily get out of because it's uh, too deep. You know, like when I get to see an indie, any individual with over a certain uh, amount of woo, I'm like, Nick, bruh, we didn't even have to do it like this. It almost takes me back to like the Juice World thing where you hear about the situation and then like, the three, four hundred pounds on. It's like we're taking a risk with the nigga who's making a million a month. Is it really worth the extra little fifty hundred bands or whatever it would have been? Like, or maybe it is a, a million. Is it even worth it to match that million? No one ways a hundred percent has way more longevity than the potential um 
you know, shortcomings of the uh, of the other, you know, option. We all know what those are. I'm kind of like tiptoeing around certain words and, um, you know, just for the uh, for the channel. But I still, I hope we get, I hope you get what I mean. You know what I mean? Because um, you're in a situation where like the breadwinner is in that situation, and like a pee wee long way is like you probably have so many different artists and people and network to where like if you're doing that. Then, then, bro, you can, you damn near can be like a next Jay Z, or you need to that meeting. You know what I mean? Let them, let Emory and them tell you how to maneuver out of a certain way because now you gonna have niggas like me making blogs about your situation. Not rather just be making it on uh, on something else. You know what I mean? That's that's more um, that has a lot to do with freedom and not being locked up. Another black man locked up. Another person who's definitely helping a lot of people clearly you know but at the same time also um we don't know how certain certain things are, are hurting people so um i had to think about it because i didn't see the severity of everything in the case documents i don't i don't I haven't read like anything official i'm just seeing like a bunch of twitter stuff i'll pop some of these through the video just so y'all kind of can see a little reference of the stuff going on with brad but um you know, it's something I'm going to look into because I think it leaves room for a big documentary or a, a video about, like, you know, Atlanta, YSL, some of the bigger artists and how some of these situations may have tapped around the country and stuff. But um, as information comes out, then I probably will curate some videos around it in situations like it. I mean, if that sounds like a good idea, let me know in the comments. If uh, you used to bump Pee Wee Longway back in high school or college, let me know in the comments your favorite song. Um, you know, Free Longway, um, hopefully everything's not as deep as it seems. It's just news today, and it, it was kind of shocking for everyone. He's been kind of quiet as far as uh, a lot of the music stuff. Um, at least as hard as he was pushing, you know, as far as like with the Migos and some of the videos we were seeing that was extra amazing and dope. If you look back at some of his more recent videos that just came out, they, over the last maybe year or two, they, they're pretty incredible. So, shout out to Pee Wee Long Way on the music. You've always been like an innovator to me, um, especially with the flows and the beat choices. So, shout out to you and your camera. And um, wish the best for you and your situation and um, everybody affected by the situation, of course. And, of course, all your fans want you home, bro. So, hopefully everyone out there, um, you know, know that that eyes are watching you at all times and uh, a lot of people love you man they need you out here free man so um we gotta find we gotta find ways to uh to to keep the lifestyles we want with the new blessings that come into our lives if that makes sense if i said that right okay hit that like button and uh subscribe